Hey guys, Mike from We Build Stuff here. Uh, today I'm going to be swapping out a old clutch, centrifugal clutch on a go-kart and putting on a torque converter. I'm also going to be taking out an old gearing, which was a 72 tooth, dropping it down to 40. This is an original Comet torque converter. This is a 30 series. I've got a 10 tooth sprocket on it. I had to chop up the backing plate, unfortunately, to make it fit. I think with future builds, I'm most likely going to be going on eBay and buying the $80 version. This one cost me about 200 bucks. Taking off the old 35 chain, I'm putting on some 41. That'll match the new sprocket that I'm putting on. Next thing to do, taking off the pillow blocks from the frame. I've just got four bolts holding these together, half inch with nylock nuts. Now the old axle was kind of rusty, so it was actually a little bit tricky to get everything apart. That's from taking it out in the snow when I was testing it prior. So I've ended up cutting up a new axle, um, and I'm going to clean the old one later for another build. I use weld-on sprockets from Princess Auto. Here I'm welding it onto a one inch keyway hub, making sure everything's level before I finish my welds. I don't want to weld too much, I'm going to end up warping the sprocket. So this, this is a bad thing there's you son of how is this gonna work? <laughs> so it looks like it's not going to just bolt on. But I still wanted to try it out anyways to see how it would work. So this is my first time assembling a torque converter, so it took me a couple of tries, looked a little bit online. The manual didn't come with much. Awesome. Because it doesn't just fit on my engine directly, I have to modify the backing plate. So I use my plasma cutter, uh, cut a couple notches to make it easier to use a socket to attach to the engine, as well as cut a couple pieces off so that the chain is accessible and easy to attach to the sprocket. This looks like it was originally designed for a mini bike or motorcycle type application where the chain will go horizontally from it to a sprocket. In my case, my sprocket is directly below the torque converter, so it has to go down or horizontal. I also had to modify the frame to make this work because my original application used a centrifugal clutch, which allowed me to be a little bit further out from the frame. With the torque converter, it's a little bit closer. So I had to take about half an inch off from my frame and then re-weld some pieces on so that I'm not causing the frame to be weakened. I 
I ended up grinding off more than I should have, and I'm going to have to re-weld and fill some holes. But for now, this is just for testing purposes only, and it should work just fine. New keyway for the hub. And these are one inch collars. Reattaching the throttle cable. Put my air box back on. See a little bit of wobble in the tires. They're a little bit unbalanced, as well as the fact that I forgot to tighten up one of the pillow blocks. Reattaching my brake caliper. I bought this at Princess Auto as well. Most of the things I will see here are all bought at Princess Auto, or I custom made them myself. Next time I do a brake system on a go-kart, I'm not going to go this route. It was a little bit tricky, um, and I just kind of had to make it up as I go because I was missing some parts. Reattaching my spring. And this piece of flat bar is just attached to my brake pedal. Again, you'll see a one-inch collar on the end. I've never had one of these fall off. Testing out the brakes. It's working pretty good. Still have a little bit of adjustments so that it will stop right away. Time for a test drive. This is being tested in a closed area. No danger to anybody. Tires. 